Today on Toy Shiz, action figures for your action figures, what a time to be alive. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at Super Impulse, and I actually have the exclusive unboxing first look at their brand new micro toy box line that will be coming to stores this summer. Each box containing five little mini toys from the past, 50 to collect, rares, super rares, mega scarce, all that jazz. You know how these blind boxes go. But these are cool. They're interesting. And they're going to fit really well, as I'll show you in just a bit, with some action figures. So if you know a photographer, or you are a photographer, or you just like taking goofy photos with lots of little toys here and there as props, yeah, this is, this is right up my alley. I love all this stuff. But yeah, you get G.I. Joe's, Power Rangers, Transformers, He-Man, Rock of Sockham Robots, Magic 8-Balls, Crocodile Dentist. <laughs> there, there's a lot in this box, and they all go really well with various scales. Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and screen grab that. This is going to be fun. I'm actually really excited about this. Again, this is right up my alley. So sit back, relax. Grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Micro Toy Box series by Super Impulse. All right, so we'll just jump right into it. Like I said, each one, you can see the top toy. So depending on when you're in the store, which one you like, you may hit the jackpot, depending on if you like uh, you know, Transformers Bumblebee, something to that degree. But you simply just peel off the top right there. And yeah, you get a really cool Micro Action Figure action figure. And... It's got a plastic case, plastic bubble, I guess you could say. It's got the card back. What's nice about these, though, is the way they're designed. I mean, they're basic, they're simple, but you can remove the card and then take Bumblebee out. I will show you scale in just a second. These are actually smaller than the previous World's Smallest, so they're even smaller action figures, and they do have the stand, which is glued to each of the figure to help them stand. And trust me, yeah, that's uh, it's definitely worth it. But you can just seal up Bumblebee right there and put him right on eBay, right? <laughs> Mint on card. Each one comes with a sticker as well. So in this case, we got a Tinker Toy sticker, which, hey, that works. And then you got to get the rest of this plastic tray out. And then you get all the different blind bags. You got four blind bags. All of them say Micro Toy Box. So we'll just tear right into this. And the first toy we got, we got another action figure. We got G.I. Joe, heck yeah. So again, all rules apply, smaller than the world's smallest, yada yada. Next one up, we got, oh, heck yeah, Mattel's Electronic Football. <laughs> Who remembers playing this? Anytime you give me old video game props, that is rad. And then we got, what is this? Oh, Barrel of Monkeys. Very cool, and the monkeys right there. No monkeys, though. Is there monkeys inside? No, there's, there's no monkeys inside. But hey, it's a cool Barrel of Monkeys. And then we got... Uh, Pail and shovel. <laughs> very cool. You know what? I totally goofed. There are monkeys in this bag, and they're very teeny tiny little red monkeys, which means that you can put them in this? No. Oh, this that's a missed opportunity. Well, you could do the whole monkey dangling thing if you wanted to do that, but unfortunately, the, the blue thing does not open up, and you can't put the monkeys in the barrel of monkeys. That's a bummer right there. But hey, you know what? Still pretty cool. To get some board game action, or whatever you want to call that. And then you get this giant checklist, right? Shows you rare, scarce, what's common, all that stuff. There's Hot Wheels, there's Barbies, which I wouldn't mind getting one of those Barbies. That's cool. Rock'em Sock'em Robots I really want. Skeletor I want, the Magic 8 Ball. That's all very cool. They got Power Rangers, they got My Little Pony. You got all kinds of crazy board games, Nerf guns, Crocodile Dentist, I hope to God I get that. There's the Rubik's Cube, which I hope I get. And there's like a mystery one as well. So all very cool, light bright. There's so many different ones. But um, yeah, we'll see what we get. And next up, oh boy, <laughs> we got G.I. Joe again. Scalper, ah, who wants to buy this? And then you got the Nerf Gun Retaliator sticker. And then, oh heck, look at that. It's second box. We got the super rare or rare, whatever you want to call it. We got Skeletor. That's awesome. He's got like a metallic sheen to him so he is smaller than the other previous super impulse release but that's awesome next up we got oh yeah i totally remember this that's that uh, little people fire truck i totally had one of these <laughs> little dog even rotates oh that's cool i definitely 
Definitely like that. That's a really cool to have. And then, oh, okay, we got toss across board game or, you know, the tossing game, whatever. It's basically just a sticker on a cardboard piece. And then, oh, look at that. We got Duncan Yo-Yo right there. Very cool. I think that that's like super rare, right? I don't know. Who cares? But yeah, very cool plastic. The string does not come off, but um, yeah, I like that. Next box, we got the Tink... No, what is this? Lincoln Logs. Is it Lincoln Logs? Yeah, it's Lincoln Logs. Very cool. 111 pieces. I would have loved if you had something in there. You could shake it and hear the logs. That'd be very cool. We got the Rubik's Cube sticker. And then we got a duplicate electronic football as well. And then what do we got? Uh, we got another duplicate, Duncan Yo-Yo. And oh, a little tiny teddy bear. Look at that little guy right there. So that's cool to have. Bane will be super happy about that. And who we got here? This is, oh, heck yeah. We got Crocodile Dentist. And that's like rarer than rare. The mouth does it open. I was hoping to pull some teeth. I'm super stoked on that. And Light Bright. I knew that right off the bat because that was the top toy. Very cool butterfly. And then we have a Barbie sticker. And then next to <laughs> we got He-Man. Boom. So we got Skeletor and He-Man. That is awesome. Stoked. And he comes with even teenier, tinier little weapons. Like I said, I guess I'll just show you this now. There is the Super Impulse World's Smallest that come with that hard card. You can remove them, but you can see the height difference on the new ones compared to the old ones. And they still all fit with Mattel Hot Wheels cars and everything else. You could put them with your He-Man figures. They look good regardless. So either ones you want to get, but I'm just happy to get this new He-Man. Very cool to see. <laughs> Next up, we got, what is this? Oh, Tippet, right? I remember that. That's very cool. Again, just a little board game right there. And then another Bumblebee and another Shovel and Pail. Oh, and then last one, very graceful. Pull the top off. We got a little Rocking Horse action right there. Classic toy. They got the Uno stickers. I hope I get the Uno. And we got, oh, My Little Pony. Heck yeah. <laughs> I love seeing these tiny little boxes for these things. If you want to open it, there's a piece of tape that goes around the entire packaging. So it's up to you, but I kind of like it in the box. I'll keep it mint in box, right? And then, uh, what is this? We got uh, Tinker Toys. Oh, okay, so that goes, it's kind of like the same thing as Lincoln Logs, but the Tinker Toy. Then we got, we got another Tippet. And then for the final one, big money right here. It's big, it's big circular thing. What is this gonna be? We have a, what is this? Oh, it's a Hot Wheels carry case. Heck yeah. <laughs> Wheel on one side, that's awesome. Very cool, that's way to end it. So you see a lot of different toys, there's 50 to collect. I got a pretty good selection. I did get a bunch of duplicates, but um, that's still not a bad, I got some fun ones and now we're gonna pair it up, see how they look with various scaled action figures. So with Bane, yeah, he can hold the Ozito bear. <laughs> so we're just gonna call him, whatever. He doesn't really hold it all too well. Skella God is now a Skella Scalper. Ah, you can hold his He-Mans and his Skeletors right there. We all know that G.I. Joe. We all, we all know how that goes. We know who's really doing this. <laughs> He-Man kind of looks like some of you when you take those photos when you find new toys. Boba Fett's got a day plan on the Tatooine beaches. That's for sure. Frankenstein, it's game night for the kiddos. Just don't play by the pond. <laughs> Deadpool. He's come for his toys, man. <laughs> you don't want to run into Deadpool at Target. Batman Beyond playing with the Barrel of Monkeys. I actually like that. Mezco, that works well. Playing with the old fire truck and He-Man. So, realistically, no matter what scale, as long as you don't get too crazy, from 5 inch to 7, 8, 9 inch, all these toys should fit really nicely. So, I highly recommend them. I like taking goofy photos with action figures, especially when, you know, you have old toys. You got toys playing with toys. I don't know why I like that. I think that's a lot of fun. Truth be told, there are a few more that I would love to grab out of this toy box line. The Barbies would be cool. The Power Rangers, a couple more Transformers. I like all the action figures. The board games are cool. I would like to check out the Nerf gun. There's a lot that I would like to get, let's be honest here. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about these. These are for you, will you be picking them up? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Micro Toy Box. And a huge thank you again to everyone over at Super Impulse for sending these over to give you guys this first hand look. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that, as always. 
drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember when it comes to toys, doesn't matter, big or small, they're going to be fun no matter what. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.